Did you know that videos on landing pages can increase conversion rates by up to 80%? And that is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the power of video marketing. If you are not leveraging this incredible tool in your marketing efforts, you are seriously missing out on a massive opportunity to engage your audience, build trust and drive real results. In today's digital landscape, video has emerged as an essential component of any successful marketing strategy. In fact, 92% of marketers already state video as an important part of their marketing strategy, but not everyone does it particularly well. So whether you're a student trying to break into the industry, a budding marketer looking to sharpen your skills, or someone that's building your own brand or business from scratch, understanding the power of video and how to leverage it effectively can give you a significant competitive edge. In this video, I'm gonna take you through why content is king and how to implement it into your marketing strategy. So why is content king? Well, it just drives more ROI. End of video. No, seriously, in a world where we are bombarded with content, there is still resistance to video. Despite the fact that the last five years have shown Facebook and Instagram and multiple other social platforms move to more video content than ever, people are 1.5 times more likely to watch a video content daily, every day, than they were just a few years ago. And some marketers are still resistant to content because of the cost and creative factor involved. But in a world where videos are shared 1,200% more times than links and text combined, we really can't not make video content. Video marketing is a powerful tool that allows you to connect with your audience on a deeper level. Video content is particularly good at humanizing your brand and building trust and credibility in a way that text alone cannot match. By leveraging the power of sight, sound, motion, videos enable you to convey complex ideas and concepts way more effectively, making it easier for your audience to understand and engage with your message. It's also a lot easier on your creative team. It's sometimes very hard to get all the nuances and information and emotion into a standalone graphic. And this is probably applicable to all around life, but it's often easier to show than to concisely draw or write out what you're trying to say. Video makes things more easily explainable and digestible, and it can be a lot more impactful. Video isn't just about explaining videos and educational content. It humanizes your brand by putting a face or multiple faces to what you are saying to your audience. Things like behind the scenes content, glimpses into personalities and videos that showcase relatable human emotions, they aren't just good for building trust, they can also drive core marketing goals, things like lead generation, product sales, even more personalized customer support. So how do you even start making videos that drive ROI? Firstly, as ever, it starts with your goals. What gets measured gets managed and there is no way you can just blindly start throwing out video scripts you need to identify your specific marketing objectives. And these might be the exact same as your business goals, but a better practice is actually to attribute specific video goals to your content. And whether this is increasing brand awareness, driving web traffic, driving click links, nurturing leads, or supporting customer edu education, the more clarity you have on your objectives and your why for your content, the easier it will be for you to create targeted and effective videos. You also need to know your audience. A key part of my course, this one here, without having a clear understanding of who you are making content for, there is actually no point in making content at all. A common misconception is that you should talk to as many people as possible, but the more people you try and talk to, the less it will actually resonate with people. So understand exactly who you're talking to to maximize on your opportunities. If you want a deep dive into how you actually go about audience research, insights, mapping, I have saved that for my course. But what you need to do to understand what video content is really going to work is look at your audience's consumption preferences. What are they watching, listening to, reading? What platforms do they spend their time on? How do they get their information? How do they get their news? What do they listen to? Also understand their other preferences, their pain points, their interests. Get valuable insights into how they spend their time to help guide the videos and the content that will resonate with them and provide them value. Next, we're going to choose the right format for your videos. Just saying video content can be a little bit misleading. Video comes in a lot of forms, not just long form, short form, candid, vlog, highly produced, explainer videos, product demos, testimonials, behind the scenes content, educational tutorials, pure entertainment videos, montages, hype pieces, all the pieces around. From your first two steps, you should have an understanding of your objectives and audience, and then you need to understand what types of format best suit objectives and audience. Then we move to brainstorm your themes and messages. 
From your insight and your objectives, you want to start throwing stuff at a wall and seeing what sticks. I run a mini brainstorming exercise several times a month to keep my ideas fresh. But all you're doing here is literally looking at your audience's pain points and thinking about how you or your company can solve them and then writing things down. Now, the more you do this exercise, the better you will get at it. But it is a case of just starting with problems and finding responses that seem personal to you, grouping your themes and then listing out how you can address them with the formats that you already know will resonate with your audience. Then we plan out the actual content. Video content does take planning. You don't necessarily need to have a background in production or even really know how to run a set, but you do need to prepare. You need to plan from a top line in terms of release dates when it's going out. This is often over-engineered, so I'm going to show you how to do this for completely free with a tool that I've actually already built for you that is also completely free. What you need to do is plan out an editorial calendar. Now, how I approach this is from the calendar view. I pre-program in any events or moments that are already interesting to my audience in the research stage. And then I use this to take my ideas that I've generated and drop them in to where they make the most sense in this calendar to help build out an overview of what my content could look like. I have this template set up to automatically create the correct card for each time I drop in a title. So I then go and look at this exact same data in a board view which I've already set up for you. From here, I can start fleshing out a couple of key points to understand what each piece will be. I will add in the format, I will add in the objective or some key points I'm going to raise, and I will use this time as a good check-in point to sense check everything that I've written down in that brainstorming session. And then I go into pure planning or pre-production. Again, I switch views in this table to another view that I've built for you, a Kanban board. As you can see, again, I've auto-formatted all of these ideas going to not started. So you can go through the process of making your content. Now, even though I have a strong background in creative production, I'm not going to take you through how to actually produce each piece of content. If that is something you want to learn, I have run creative teams for years, so drop me a message in the comments below. But you do need to approach this with a plan and at the minimum know exactly what you're going to film. So start writing your content out. Write a script, write a list call, write a few points that you want to hit in a freestyle, but you do need to write out your actual content so you're not flying in the dark and then make it compelling. While you are writing out or planning your content, you want to make sure that you are using storytelling to your advantage. Again, I have an in-depth how-to in regard to storytelling in my course. So if you do want to get better at this, do go and check that out. But the art of good video marketing is understanding that the ROI difference it drives, remember that's over 1,200%, is because it has a narrative and it creates human responses through storytelling. You want to craft a narrative with your videos that is directly related to your audience's pain point and it captures their attention and it evokes an emotion so it leaves a lasting impression. Then we optimize for discovery. Whilst we already know it does increase organic traffic by 157%, you do need to make sure your content is optimized. So use relevant keywords, compelling titles, use descriptive metadata to ensure that your videos are easily discoverable on platforms like YouTube, Vimeo, social media. Additionally, you can leverage video transcripts and closed captions to improve that accessibility and SEO. Then promote and repurpose. There is nothing worse than spending a very long time on content for it to be one and done. Share your videos across multiple channels, include in your website, add to your social media, put them in some email campaigns, put them on relevant industry platforms. Repurpose content by creating shorter clips, teasers, or transcribe your videos for written content to really maximize your reach and engagement. And then you want to make sure that you are tracking and analyzing. All that great ROI doesn't happen instantly. Regularly analyze your video performance metrics, such as view counts, engagement rates, conversion rates, and use these insights to really refine your strategy. Identify key areas for improvement and continuously iterate on your video content to better meet your audience's needs whilst also achieving your marketing goals. This seems like a lot, but once you set the basics up, it will honestly be a breeze. Get the basics easily by grabbing your free technique that I've already built for you. By incorporating video into your marketing strategy, you'll not only stay ahead of the curve, but you will also position yourself as a thought leader in your industry. Remember, videos are a powerful tool for building trust. They're great for engaging with your audience and ultimately they do drive conversations. With the right approach and consistent effort, you can harness the full potential of video marketing to elevate your brand, attract 
and retain customers and really achieve long-term success in your business or in your career. So what are we waiting for? Hit subscribe, grab your free tool and start planning your first video today to unlock the transformative power of this incredible marketing tool.